Hey, I'm Tom, and I wanted to show you the new, newish Rancilio Silvia Pro. And um, I'm just going to talk about some of the features. And what we did is we pulled out a new uh, Rancilio Miss Silvia, the, 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 the normal Silvia, uh, for comparison. So you can see the size difference, and we'll talk a little about the feature difference. Mainly, I'll just be focusing on the features of this beast. Um, the Sylvia ships at 52 pounds, it's 44 pounds in itself. It's really a whole different thing than the typical Sylvia. Um, and this is a dual boiler express machine with two PIDs in it. So again, we're talking about two completely different things. But what they've done a really great job at here is matching the style and um, the width to some degree of um, of the, the the basic Sylvia and that's um, that's something I'm really happy about as soon as we saw that this was coming out we we knew we wanted to get on board because it's really quite a different look and um, it's also incredibly compact but I'm going to show you one way in which it's quite a bit larger than it so you can see these the difference in the height and you can see there's a very slight difference in the width and I'm putting those uh, differences on the screen right now. Um, what you might not be able to see, and maybe you can come around this way, is that there's a, a slightly deeper working area here that the, the drip trays, um, so there's an enlarged working area in the Pro, which is, which is very welcome because the, the Miss Sylvia is pretty compact with the space that you have. You also have a longer uh, steam wand. This is an insulated stainless steel steam wand and um, has a longer length which allows you to use I think a, a wider variety of pitchers that will fit. Um, one uh, slight negative that I've heard online is that people feel that the uh, rotation of this isn't quite to, um, they would want it just a little bit more um, and I think that was simply somebody who had a favorite pitcher that wasn't wasn't well paired with the machine, but very minor complaint. The uh, Sylvia Pro is uh, not a plumbed in machine. It's a tank machine. Um, I have heard the other <laughs> small complaint is people feel that this two liter uh, water reservoir is a little on the, on the small side. Um, I think it's fairly standard to have two liters. Um, one feature here is, is that they say that the max line here, which you can see, we'll do a still image of that so you can see that. It's a little hard to see. I can see it pretty well. And that the notch here with your, your tubes that come in comes fairly low. So if you hit that max, you're actually going to overfill. So you need to be a little thoughtful about how you fill this. The water reservoir does come out for cleaning. However, it's not the type of reservoir where you'd want to take this out, take it over to a sink and bring it back to, as, a, as a normal way of filling it. It's, it doesn't come out that easily. And so the other thing that's really different about this is the depth of the machine, which is, is totally different. And I'm showing those dimensions again of the um, Sylvia on, uh, on the screen. Um, this is a considerably deeper machine and the height difference is something. So people are going to want to measure this uh, pretty well to see how it fits. Um, but like I said, that width is really attractive. And the fact that it also doesn't have any sort of, uh, it doesn't extend from the sides much. So it's very compact width-wise. So let me just rattle off a few other features. So this thing can steam coffee all day. It's really loaded with, uh, you know, commercial, level features uh, to some degree. And I could s easily see this machine working in a, a small bar type setting or something. It's, it's uh, definitely office level, home level for sure, commercial, light commercial um, to some degree. Um, has lots of steam power. And um, that's what dual boilers is all about. You probably know that if you're interested in, this, in upgrading to this machine. Um, they're energy saving uh, insulated dual boilers and um, it also features some other cool 
things. It has the standard 58 millimeter porta filter that comes with a single and double. Uh, the baskets are not super interchangeable with all different brands, but I know that people use the VST 18 gram basket. And there's a little debate. I load this with 18, but some people say it's more of a 16 gram basket, the double. Um, Rancilio does sell a bottomless porta filter handle. If you're into that, that's a separate item. And I'm, we, at this time, we don't offer it, but it's available online. Um, to start the machine, you simply put on the toggle switch. And uh, the other two switches here are steam, which I'm not gonna turn now, but both of these, the function of both of these is, uh, is a uh, toggle that returns. So this is your, um, to activate steam, uh, when it's ready, you're gonna have an indicator light over here that turns on. And when that is on, you can also use your hot water. Uh, right here but of course those are not heated up yet i've actually clocked the time that this machine takes to get up to so-called brew temperature at under three minutes which is remarkable however that's not really where you want to brew because your whole group head which by the way this is a semi-saturated group head so it has a, a uh, uh it's, and it's all bra brass with brass handles so um, you're having a really good heat retention and, and uh, uh, thermal sort of stability is a key feature of this machine, both by the materials used and by the fact that the brew head's is saturated. Um, anyway, you would really want to heat the machine 15 minutes uh, in order for all the materials to heat up and really be truly ready to to uh, to work with it. However, the water itself heats incredibly fast. Um, so yes, it has, uh, it's all stainless steel body, uh, the brass brewing unit I already mentioned. The uh, tray height is adjustable, um, the drip tray height, and um, it has an integrated shot timer here, you know, very simple controls, and uh, adjusting for your target temperature is simply a matter of, uh, of, of using the up and down at any point. You're also able to set your uh, steam, uh, um, your, your steam water temperature, uh, and also your, your pressure overall, your uh, pump pressure. Uh, easily, you know, obviously works at nine bars and easily attains nine bars of pressure for, uh, through the vibratory pump. So I think, think the, the final things to say about it are some of the brew capacities. As I said, it's a two liter water reservoir. The steam uh, boiler is one liter and the brewing boiler is stainless steel and 0.3 liters. They're both stainless steel boilers uh, with individual PID control. The water reservoir is uh, plastic, but it's BPA free. Um, again, it's 44 pounds, it's, it's quite a quite a chunk of, uh, of steel here. And um, 120 volt, 1200 watt, 15 amps, standard US voltage. And uh, as you can see, according to that, we're already at temperature, but our group head is not, is not heated up yet. So um, that's the, some stats on the Sylvia Pro. Um, we're really excited about it and it's been a joy to use. Oh, and I'll just, I'll just turn on so you can see the integrated shot timer. Sorry. You're going to go. <laughs> okay, so anytime you're going to start your shot, you're going to turn this on and you're just going to start a shot timer. And it's really welcome. Of course, there's a vibratory pump. It does make some noise. Sounds like kind of a grinder type noise. Um, and uh, that's kind of standard for, for a machine like this. And you can, of course, heat all your cups up here and everything. So I think I've hit everything on my list. Sylvia Pro, thanks.